Hi, my name is Gail Huntley. My father, Harold Garth Huntley, was the fifth child born to George Willis Huntley and Florence Flossie Stacy at 220 Green Street, Whitby, Ontario, on March 13, 1921. All eight of his siblings also had home births. My father passed away December 21, 1987, at the Dr. J. O. Ruddy Hospital, Whitby, after a three-month battle with rapid multiple myeloma. He was 66 years. Harold attended King Street Public School and Colburn Street Senior Public, but did not complete grade eight, as he had a paper route at the time, and the family needed the money. Harold would go on to work delivering milk in Whitby until it was found he did not have a driver's license. He enlisted for World War II in early 1939, lying about his age to join his brothers Eugene and Ronald. Harold started his service with the 11th Canadian Army Tank Division, A Squadron, 42nd Highlanders Army Overseas as a private. Harold was overseas six years and the last of his brothers to return home in 1945. During the war and after a particular close call, when he was hit with shrapnel in the leg, his brothers pulled him from the tank corps and he was made a sergeant in the payroll office in Riccardo, Italy. On leaves, he visited friends and family in Scotland. He returned home fall of 1945. In the spring of 1946, his younger brother Earl introduced him to an Oshawa redhead by the name of Wilma June Gerard. By Christmas 1946, they were engaged. However, my mom insisted on a home of her own before marriage. My grandfather, George Huntley, had purchased around 1942 the north side of Gilbert Street East between Athol and Peel Streets. There, are cur there was currently a potato field on this land, but it was approved for four building lots. It was Grandpa's intention a lot be given to each of his four sons on their return from the war. At the rear of 300 Gilbert Street East today, and with its enhanced entrance off of Athol Street, Grandpa ran his Huntley Window and Sash Company. All of the homes built in that era had Huntley windows. A sister, one of five, insisted on living near her brothers, and four lots became five. Gladys Huntley Wiles and her husband Douglas built their first home on the corner of Gilbert and Peel Streets in 1943. It was the first home to be built of the five. Eventually, they would build a stone home next to my dad at 308 Gilbert Street East in 1948. At one time, three siblings were living on this block. After building all five homes as a family, two brothers chose to sell their lots and live elsewhere. Harold, with the help of his father and brothers, began construction on a white clapboard Cape Cod home at 300 Gilbert Street East the summer of 1948 after having a few years under his belt as an employee of General Motors, North Plant. Dad worked shift work in the truck division. Harold and Wilma married July 30, 1949 in Oshawa, honeymooned in Kingston and Ottawa, and returned to live with his parents at 220 Green Street until their home was complete. By Christmas 1949, they were in their new home. Eventually, Harold would be transferred to the GM South plant where he was a salaried supervisor in the safety and inspection area of the car plant. He would spend 30 years working shift work at General Motors. Upon retirement, he was given a 35-year ring for service to include the World War. Harold and Wilma would celebrate 38 years of marriage before Dad's death. They would raise a daughter, Gail, and a son, Scott, in the home they had built. Wilma remained in the family home until her death in 2005. To this day, Gail maintains her parents' home. Besides building his own home and helping his brothers and sister build theirs, Harold will be remembered as an avid bowler, winning many trophies at the old bowling alley on Byron Street. Besides bowling, they enjoy square and round dancing for many years out of a club in Oshawa and danced every weekend in Toronto. Harold was also an avid golfer and made Country Lane his second home, often there bright and early with the old timers where he was known as Chief. My father was, a very, was very proud of his family and his home. He spoke a little of the war years and was a whippy guy through and through. When I inherited his wallet shortly after his death, I found only four photos. Photo number one was 300 Gilbert Street East. Photo number two was Wilma and photos three and four were myself and my brother. Thank you very much for listening to this.